Hello everyone and welcome to Nuke and Nuke X10. On this release, we have focused on improving the day-to-day -to -day tools and workflows so the artists can concentrate more on making things look awesome and worry less about the technicalities. One of the most improved areas is the painting and cleanup workflows. First off, we have added the new Smart Vector toolset. This is a set of nodes that take advantage of our advanced vector technology. It includes the Smart Vector node that lets you create high quality motion vectors of your shot. These new vectors can then be used on the Smart Distort node that will push or warp clean patches or textures through a sequence of frames without the need to retract different areas. We now include the Blur and the Vector Distort nodes into Nuke Assist, so you can finish your roto and paintwork in one place. Last but not least, we have also improved the Roto Paint node to be faster, more interactive and stable with a larger amount of strokes on a single node, simplifying your cleanup workflows. CG Composing workflows has also been improved and speed up by the introduction of a completely redone Vector Blur node. First, we have added a new algorithm that uses the full power of the GPU, as well as making it way faster on the CPU. Either on artist machines or on render farms, you will see a great speed improvement. This new algorithm is not only faster, but it improves the results on normally complicated overlapping motion areas. And with a new interface that is more intuitive, you will be able to get the best results quicker. The new Ray Render node adds a ray tracing options into your compositing toolset directly inside Nuke. This will improve workflows where you can add specular passes or ambient occlusion interactively in your comp without having to re-render from your 3D pipeline. We have also made improvements to our pipeline tools, including library updates to the BFX platform 2015. We have integrated the latest certified OCIO configs to the project settings while maintaining all the pipeline ability through the Python hooks as well you now have access to the OCIO LUTs directly on the reads and the write nodes, making it easier to set up and manage. We have also improved the localization system. Now it works on the background threads, so the artist can continue working as it's happening, as well as adding new settings to pause and work exclusively from the source files. As well as these new features and enhancements, we have worked very hard on fixing the highest priority box and stability issues reported by our community of artists. We are looking forward to see how artists will push the boundaries with Nuke 10.